everybody welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome my name is Kashia aka K and on this channel you'll find everything from mom life wife life form life fit life and of course lock life if any of those things pique your interest pause 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 this intro y'all hit the subscribe button and let's get into it So, as you have read by the title, you know what we're about to talk about. We're about to talk about the big P, Publix. All right, so let's just get into it. Just to give you guys a little bit of history on myself and my um, association with Publix, I started with Publix back in March of 2013, so about 11 years ago, um, within six months um backtrack i started as a part-time cashier okay within six months i was promoted to a part-time customer service staff associate um i can't remember how long i was a part-time customer service um staff but um i did that maybe a year it probably wasn't even a year um and then i got promoted to full-time i was full-time at Publix for possibly about two years um and then I stepped back down to part-time. And I'll tell you why. Um, I, with, with being customer service staff, you have open availability if you're full-time. So that means you can work anywhere from 6 a.m. till 10, 11 o'clock at night. Because 6 a.m., you will probably have to open cash. 11 o'clock at night, you will probably have to close. So you basically are there from 6 to 11. Those are your possible range of shifts. Um, let me first start off by saying I absolutely loved working at Publix. Loved it. And I met a lot of lifelong friends there, okay? Um, but needless to say, I believe it was, it's when I stepped down and became part-time and pursued to work at a bank. Um, I did that, didn't want to do it, but it was what was best for my home life. Um, it had nothing to do with Publix. It was my personal life. My personal life did not go with the need of Publix. So when I did decide to step down, it was nothing that Publix did to me personally. It was just that my personal life did not fit with, you know, the needs of what Publix, you know, needed. So I did step down part-time. And I worked at the bank, you know, full time. Let me tell you this. Back when I did this in 2015, Publix was paying me more than the bank was going to pay me as a teller. Yeah, you heard me. The grocery store was paying more than the bank. You do the math. So, you know, I definitely knew that I was not going to leave Publix at that time because... I make most of my money at Publix. I'm just not able to work the, you know, allotted schedule that they need me to work as a full-timer now. Um, because I had a son, he was about to get ready to turn five, and I'm like, okay, I need a schedule where I can be at home at night. And I can't, you know, ask them to conform to my personal life because they have needs that have to be met to run their business. So I totally understood that. Why people don't understand that. I, I don't know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what the job is asking for before you get there. Now, if something changed after the fact, that's different. You know, maybe a conversation needs to be had. But if you know the expectations that are needed of you prior to accepting a position, whether it's at Publix or anywhere, you know, don't get mad at the job, you know, okay? And um, So anyways, uh, I did part-time at Publix, full-time at the bank. For about two years so 2017 came along and I started at a new bank which paid more than the previous bank that I was working at and I was like okay you know I'm making enough now they had put me on you know full-time and I'm making good so I was like okay I'm gonna leave Publix so June of 2017 I left I um, 
at, by this time I was working one day a week which you know I really felt wasn't beneficial not just for me but for them because you know you have an associate that's only gonna work one day a week that's not beneficial um so I left and I just started working you know full-time at the bank and from 2017 until June no until from 2017 June 2017 to be exact until August of 2022 i was not working at Publix. uh what's that five years yeah five years so um i worked you know at the bank for a while and i left there and worked somewhere else and then i had my baby um yeah so when i decided to go back to work i knew that my next job or career was going to be my last one so i did a lot of praying a lot of you know seeking and asking god to order my steps you know where he wanted me to be you know just make it plain that's how you know something is sit down from god when it's made plain when it's something that you would have never thought about you know that it's for you so needless to say i started back at Publix august of 2022 and I like it, you know. Um, of course, I am part time. Yeah. Um, my her, my husband, he is a manager at Publix, <laughs> so that's how we met. If you guys um, haven't watched that video on Meet My Husband, then you need to watch it. But anyways, my husband and I both met at Publix as cashiers but anyways um he's a customer service manager there so you know his hours are a little bit longer than mine so at the present moment i am part-time but one second let me get some coffee because i'm i'm partial get into it <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that but that's george jenkin the founder of Publix. there you go and that the saying on the cup reads begin the rest is easy i mean that's facts but anyway, i um i always tell people because not just myself but i know others who have left Publix and came back i always tell people just a rule of thumb don't leave because you're gonna come back you know the grass is never greener on the other side is already green at Publix. <laughs> okay, that was corny. But I always tell people, you know, if you do want to get another job, still keep Publix as part-time because Publix is a great company to work for, y'all. I'm not sponsored. Of course, I'm not sponsored by Publix. You know, every job has their flaws. Every job has issues because that's just life. You... If you have the perfect job with no issues, comment down below. Comment down below. Okay? Because you're going to find something about your job that you don't like. Whether it's the benefits, the pay, the management, the co-workers, the commute to work. It's going to be something about your job that you do not like. So, let's just put that out there. So, you know, just, just to say that, I'm just letting you guys know. You know... A lot of things have shifted and changed since COVID, but I feel like that's with anybody's job. But needless to say, you know, only thing you can do now is move forward from what this worldwide epidemic has brought upon every job, every corporation. But I love Publix, you know, unless God has other plans for me, my plans are to retire from Publix. Um, I hope to become full-time in the pharmacy one day with them. I have learned so much at Publix in the pharmacy within a year and a half that I have been there. My managers in the pharmacy department are chef freaking kiss. Like, let me see. I try to be honest. I'm trying to see if they're the best managers I ever had. If they aren't the best managers that I've ever had, then they're equal to one that I have had but they they're good and when you have great managers you don't mind being a great associate that's all I can say you know I so that is why I left Publix but that is also why I came back and you know the benefits I've talked about all that in my um, video 
already in a puppets video if you haven't watched that it'll also be linked at the end of this video so get into it but yeah um that's why i left you know we all go through phases in our lives seasons and things like that and at that moment that's what i needed and i always feel like you know in a relationship if you leave if it's meant to be it'll come back around and the opportunity for me to come back around to Publix came and i took it and like i said that's why i plan on retiring with all of my benefits and yeah i'm, I'm happy thoroughly happy uh, i've been there like i said a year and a half and i'm happy so yeah all right i don't want to keep rambling going on and on in regards to the video so thank you guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave me a comment let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have any questions i know you guys really had um enjoyed the last public's video and been asking questions and i've been making sure that i have been responding back to you guys on there so engage with me on this video as well okay all right y'all until next time bye